Welcome to Cases of Mistaken Identity. These tutorials are based on real questions asked by my medical and dental students over the years. Case 3, Muscle. I'm Dr. Katherine Moore, the Histology Wizard. The three types of muscle, skeletal, cardiac, and smooth, can be difficult to tell apart. So let's investigate. Now these three images may look pretty different here, but that's a deliberate choice on my part. The color may not always be helpful when you're trying to distinguish among these three types. Instead, you can focus on three different things. First, location. Remember, if you recognize where you are in the body, this can help you narrow down the type of muscle. For example, smooth muscle is found in blood vessels and throughout the digestive organs, while cardiac muscle is found in the heart. Second, you want to be paying attention to fiber shape and size. Skeletal muscle fibers are huge and smooth muscle fibers are small. And finally, you want to be paying attention to nuclei, both location and number. So let's start by taking a closer look at skeletal muscle. Now students usually recognize skeletal muscle, but I'm going to point out a few things that help distinguish this tissue from the other two types. This is just a simple cartoon showing a skeletal muscle cell or fiber and an example of skeletal muscle tissue that's been cut in longitudinal section. So the first thing you want to note is that these cells are very large non-branching fibers and they're highly organized. So skeletal muscle has visible cross striations when it's cut in longitudinal section. And remember what you're actually looking at here is the sarcomeric organization of skeletal muscle. That is, the arrangement of the myofilaments of actin and myosin in sequential order from one end of the muscle fiber to the other. And if we look even closer, you can really appreciate the striations. In this view, we can also easily see the other important distinguishing characteristic of skeletal muscle, the peripheral nuclei, located on the edges of each cell. Recall that during development, myotubes will fuse together to form these large cells, so each muscle cell will end up having multiple nuclei. Skeletal muscle is also easily recognizable in transverse or cross-section with its regular geometric fibers arranged in fascicles. And you can see the peripheral nuclei here and in a magnified view. But don't be fooled by the nuclei between the fibers. These are immune cells either in the endomesium or in the blood vessels. Now in contrast to this very straight organized skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle has highly branching fibers. Cardiac muscle does contain sarcomeres and it is striated, but usually we can't see those striations under the light microscope, although they're somewhat visible in this particular section. But what I really want to focus on here are the most identifiable characteristics of cardiac muscle, the intercalated discs. These structures are located at the longitudinal ends of cardiomyocytes. They link the cells, providing cell-to-cell -cell coupling that's critical in propagation of the action potential and they contain gap junctions, desmosomes, and adherence junctions. Now, in contrast to skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle has only one nucleus per myocyte, and these are centrally located. In transverse section, you can also see these central nuclei. Now, you won't see these in every single cell because of the plane of section. Here, I also want you to note that cardiac myocytes look much less regular and geometric in cross-section, and you can see larger spaces between the fibers, and that again reflects the branching of the cardiac myocytes. Smooth muscle cells are quite different than either skeletal or cardiac muscle cells. They're much, much smaller, they're not striated, and they're unbranched. One trick to identifying smooth muscle is that it's very often seen in two orientations such as here in the duodenum. The nuclei also have a characteristic cigar or S shape that you can see in this magnified image. Now like cardiac muscle, smooth muscle nuclei are centrally located and again there's just one per cell as you can see in this transverse section. But in general, smooth muscle cells are much smaller than cardiac muscle cells. Now let's quickly recap the differences among our three types of muscle. Skeletal muscle has the largest fibers, visible striations, and multiple peripheral nuclei. Cardiac muscle has branched fibers, prominent intercalated discs, while smooth muscle has the smallest cells with cigar-shaped or almost squiggly looking nuclei. I hope these tips will help you solve this case of mistaken identity. Thanks for stopping by.